Hi everybody. Um, so this week is my last worship service with you all as pastor. Uh, so that's happening. I have to say I really enjoyed last weekend when we had our women's retreat and the theme of that retreat was hope, which I thought was the exact right theme for this Sunday as well, because even though I know there's a lot of uncertainty at, at First and Summerfield about who the next pastor is going to be and all that, there's still a lot of reason to hope. So this week I want to talk about hope. And we're going to hear a really interesting and kind of strange story about hope from the Bible. It's this story about the prophet Jeremiah, who was just very controversial in his time. Like the things he said were very upsetting to people like the king and he was put in prison. So in this story, Jeremiah is in prison in Jerusalem and Jerusalem, the city, is under siege. It's at war with the Babylonians. And things are not looking good. Um, spoiler alert, the Babylonians are going to win this war. And very bad things are going to happen to the people in Jerusalem. And they're going to go into exile for several generations. And, and Jeremiah is like telling everybody that all this is going to happen, which is why people don't like him, and they put him in prison. See how it all fits together. So Jeremiah is kind of this doom and gloom prophet. But in the midst of all of this doom and gloom, like he's in prison, the city's under siege, in the midst of all this, Jeremiah does this really radical act of hope. Um, and this is what he does. It's really interesting, a little strange, but he buys a piece of land in the region. Um, this is his act of hope. He buys a piece of land and he signs a deed, you know, he signs a deed like this. Look, I have made a sign act of also a deed signed Jeremiah. Um, he does it in front of witnesses. I also... I have a witness here. Do you see my witness? She bears witness. Um, and so he signs his deed. He has these witnesses. And he puts this deed into a jar for safekeeping. And he wants this jar to last a very long time time and he says he's he says I'm making this investment with my money because one day people are gonna buy and sell land here again so that's one way to invest in hope that's how Jeremiah does it <laughs> this Sunday we're gonna talk about how we invest in hope um, and it's going to be a lovely Sunday. I hope that you will join us. Um, and one thing, of course, that we're going to attend to this Sunday is saying our farewells. Um, so I'm really grateful for the SPR committee for organizing a special coffee hour on the church portico after church. Um, and then also on Sunday evening, we, we will meet 630 to 730 on Zoom, um, just to have a time to say our goodbyes. Um, I know I will need that time. So I hope that you will join us, and I will see you then in lots of hope. Bye, everybody.